Hey everybody, welcome back to another Raw Zephon. I'm Griffin, that's Theta, and we're here to watch another episode and ask ourselves, what's going on? Also, I introduce ourselves as Raw Zephon. This is Stone Face Reaction. <laughs> yeah, with a quote from the Black Eyed Peas for some reason. Welcome everyone to my mental state going into this, so it perfectly matches the chaos I'm about to encounter. Uh, I think it's probably up to me to try to piece together what happened last time. It's been, what, a month or so since we la watched our last episode, right, Theta? Also, uh, thanks to Alro Savant for supporting this, uh, this series, as always. I, I can't have an aneurysm without you. Thanks for giving us this episode to make me feel even crazier. So... Uh, the only piece of information I'm going to use is the fact that we have Ayato and Haruko, because I need to remember those names or it becomes impossible to talk about anything. Um, I'm pretty sure last time Ayato was, uh, on the battle group once they finally got back to, like, the island where a bunch of humans were. Uh, he has been sequestered away because he might have alien DNA in his blood, but his blood is red, so everyone's confused. Uh, they take no chances, so they just kind of lock him up. But eventually, he teleports out into the Raze Fawn and uh, has a fight. Uh, that's... Actually, does he even fight? I don't even remember. I think he just shows up. <laughs> that's that's kind of like the basic little pieces of information I kind of remember. Theta, can you help me fill that in at all? Well, what was the name of that episode? Uh, watch the year hand. And what was that related to? I can't remember specifically now. Try really hard, Griff. Why was that episode... I'm doing it. I'm thinking. Why was ah, the episode named that way? Um... Why was it? What was the thing that you remember seeing... In episode one, even. But what was the thing I saw in episode one? You gotta tell me that now. Come on, that's not a spoiler. <laughs> no, you specifically pull because if you come to realization, it'll stick in your head more than if I just tell you. So what's the thing you specifically was pointed out to you in episode one? Like, we went back over it and talked about it for a while. I mean, we, we already know, like, there's, like, a perceived time differential between these two locations, between Tokyo, Jupiter, and the rest of the world. But that, that's not necessarily time travel, that's kind of more just, uh, everybody in a bubble, really, right? So now I'm confused, is, you think that's not related to the name of the episode? Oh no, I'm trying to piece together what I know about all the time shenanigans going on. I'm trying to see, like, if I eventually hit something. And and I got nothing. You gotta... You gotta help me out, Theta. You gotta give me something to work with. Or I'm gonna move to the next idea. <laughs> well, what's the next idea, then? Uh, the next idea is we definitely have another alien on board, who is also very much in possession of similar powers and things going on. Uh... Has red blood, uh, but is undoubtedly an alien of some kind. The infiltration is deeper than we thought with the Moo aliens in amongst the humans. Guess that uh, Ayato is a uh, is a demonstration of it. So you think or it's an infiltration? An uh, could be an infiltration. Could be timey wimey shenanigans. Could be could be anything. You know, I mean, you specifically just used the word infiltration. Yeah. Which denotes uh, intent. Right. Um, that's all I could assume right now, because them being there seems like somebody had to want it to happen. Right, right, but... Uh, or that sorry. there's a lot of potential if it is an infiltration where they intend to, like, backstab everyone later on or something. That's what I'm saying, is that infiltration has a specific definition and intent associated. You're not saying that this person is just incidentally here you mean that they're maliciously here subversively yep okay that's that's my thought process right now maybe we'll get proven wrong all, all they've done so far is like uh dangerously walk on some catwalks which okay oh and they got the haircut i think uh what else 
Oh, right. Uh, Haruka was in the episode, but I think kind of, um, more or less interacted with people she knew, had a slap fight that I don't think would well for her, uh, and tried talking to everyone on behalf of Ayato to try to get him out of jail, but didn't succeed. And then he teleported out, so I don't think things are looking great for her right now. She's trying to convince everyone she just that I it's just an ordinary kid. And then he pulls some of this shit. Um Like I said, there's I, mystery boxes you don't even know exist yet. Yup. But are uh, in front of you. I mean, I think uh I did at least uh pull the idea. Oh yeah, no, they're definitely related. If we're dealing with time shenanigans, shenanigans uh she is his son or something in a timey wimey bubble she thing. She is his son. Yeah. There's a lot in that to unpack. She is his son. Haruko is Ayato's daughter. It's not what you now you're reversing your position already. No, that is what I meant to say. Haruko is the daughter of Ayato from the future and has come back to the past. So that is you're that saying, is the timey wimey shenanigans I can imagine happening here because I've seen Terminator. So you're saying that a early two thousands show would not be complex enough socially in order to have a time travel son identify as a woman. What? You said that she is his son, and then backtracked to make her his daughter. Oh, I just so misspoke. So you're saying I'm... it's not Look, a complicated man. enough socially aware show to have a, uh, a son self-identify as a daughter. Look, man, I'm on less than five hours of sleep. I don't need this. I don't need this. <laughs> I'll just question all right. your flip-floppy, that's all. So, I think needless to say, a lot of action kind of happened last episode, but I'm not sure the action was super relevant to much of anything other than getting Ayato in a position where he and the Razefan are basically together and again after they try to split them up. So, you just recap that one. You say the action wasn't relevant? Or I guess... There were more interesting things happening than the fact that the base was under attack as they were trying to ship out the Razefon. So the fact that the Moo can attack from outside Tokyo Jupiter is not a relevant fact. They floated airships into it. I never assumed that they couldn't just cross the barrier and do whatever the hell they want. What do you they mean? made it. What do you mean into it? They're in there. That's where they are. <laughs> I mean, if you say into it, you're implying from somewhere else. Yeah. They they brought in airships in, like, episode one. That were obviously not the human battleships. Right, right. But from where, then? wherever they are. That, I'm not assuming that they just have one base here, Theta. They don't just exist in Tokyo. What kind of terrible invasion plan is that? Oh my gosh. Who, who would do that? Are they XCOM aliens? Do they have just like one alien base and you like blow it up and they're done for? Okay, cool. Now that we're assuming <laughs> what their invasion plans are, what do you think they are? You know, still got no idea, actually. We'll find well, I mean, you've labeled... That's a good question to put on the brain here. You've labeled invading... What the hell is their objective? You've labeled invading one city on an entire planet a bad invasion plan. So I'm just wondering what you think their invasion plan actually is. Now that you have identified what the bad one would be. You know, that's a good question. I'm going to have to keep that in my mind as we watch, I think. So... Theta, I think I've gone over every straight thought I had about the previous episode. I don't remember a lot of particulars, but I think I remember the main beats, unless you got any that I forgot here. Uh, and, of course, you're going to hide all the mystery boxes from me. So, is there anything you want to add before we go ahead and get started? 
Uh, I guess the only other beat that comes to mind is Boots and Cats. All right, fair enough. So, before we go ahead and get started, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and comment down below to feed that algorithm. Top of all that, if you want to watch more shows like this, unfiltered, uncensored, and uncut, so also our the access stuff, you can check it out over on the Patreon. Just $5 a month, but no pressure. Soul support channel, just a little bit extra. Is that I'm mostly in trance because I don't remember when I originally watched this getting the lyrics. <laughs> Within the cramped miniature garden. Yeah, I, I, I think maybe you need to ex expand that garden a little bit. That's only about the size of Tokyo, right? <laughs> Alright, the alien's plan is actually to create a small park for them to go vacation at. I mean, why not? That's the plus on the uh, Twilight Zone episodes. Gosh. The aliens came here with one thing in mind to go to Disney World. We can't let them have that. That's it's America's theme, theme park. park. It's a theme park. <laughs> That's alright, Ron DeSantis will do something about that. <laughs> That's not an endorsement. Yeah, see, there's Ron the airships. Sure. Why would I assume that they can't go anywhere? No, it's not what my point was. You kept saying that they sent them to. That's what I'm saying. From where? June 11th, 26th, the Earth D1 was captured by the Earth D1. The Earth D1 was captured by the Earth D1. Only one submarine and five aircraft? That's actually less damage than I remember. Also, photograph technology kind of fucking sucks in the future, apparently. They don't got those iPhone megapixels. I also think they basically just flat out said their technology turns to stone when it's over. Yeah, not their cameras though, they're talking about the dolphins. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why I said that the government is going to be in the government. It's a good thing. That's why I'm going to be in the government. At the end, Oh, that's one hell of a tattoo. Uh... Wait, is that the other one? The other one? Sorry. The, the girl who did the barbershop stuff last time. I'm In which case, that means maybe she's there willingly. On Earth, as it is in Heaven. Well, at least your jail cell got nicer. Ah, ohayo. Dodai. Why is green locked and red unlocked? I don't know. I just want to see what Japanese tourists say getting off the plane in Ohio. あ。知れ。あやと君お連れしました。全く何よあの <laughs> <laughs> I get a flash forward to all the girls on the bridge of Gundam 00. Oh gosh. とりあえずだが君の住居が決まった。そうだな。人体案内してやってくれ。はい。じゃあ、あやとく行きましょう。Good <laughs> dodge. <触んなよ。笑> ああ。
He's a little jerk. He's a brooding teen right now. Honestly, this is the most believable thing. Just him being a broody, angsty little teen. あとは。めぐみちゃん、ちょっと。実は頼みがあるんだ。いいかな。はい。で、なんでしょう。実はね。Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, they, they need landing pads for their spaceships. A particular. I'm sorry, what does that imply about music in general? There's nothing unnecessary in it. Have you listened to music today? Did they have her to undo her hair just for the machine? I'll keep it out of the way. Seems like it'd be more in the way. I mean, you saw the scans, it wasn't. Okay, they're related, brother. Okay. Good info. I now understand familial relationships.知ってます。ここが二来家内の内海だ。二来家内。それって沖縄に伝わる理想郷ですよね。君は若いのに白色だね。あの正面に見える二来島に遺跡調査のため人工構造物を増設してできたのが海上実験都市加内市。ちょっ
Reusing little frames too. どうしようもないな。いい人よりいい女の方がいい友達になれるんじゃないか。彼の管理を甘くしていいんですか。彼のバイオリズムや精神状態がこの石化現象を促しているとすると、とにかく心を開かせるしかないでしょう。you know, I'm I'm down for shocking Hayato, actually. Sure. Let's do it. He's a jerk. He deserves one or two. Your luggage? Hey. Something's got to shoot out of that thing. Really? Can't put it together, Griff? What do you think is in the luggage? Uh, either a bomb or a breathing thing. Right. What breathing thing have we already met? That fits in a box? Right. That's a loaded question there. Two episodes ago, Griff. Oh, wait, no, the cat's in there. Wait, how? What? Wait, no, she took the cat earlier. We're time to pick up hitchhikers. Yeah, あたしんちじゃなくて、私のおじさんち。私をたまたま隣に住んでるんだから喜ぶな。誰も喜んでないよ。何よその言い方。ああ、ティーネイジャーマン。You see the joke is that he has pink luggage in front of a girl. 食べないの。せっかく買ってきたのに。君のいた町君のいたうちとはだいぶ違うだろうしばらくは慣れないだろうがまあ親戚のうちに遊びに来たつもりで気楽にやってくれ俺俺それってよくわからないんです親戚のうちに遊びに行ったことないんで Also, I just ran away from my mother, who was bleeding blue blood at me. <laughs> Gee, I wonder why he doesn't have any other family than his mother, I wonder. From what I remember, those windmills are actually pretty loud. Just being standing underneath that is not going to be great. You still call those windmills? I guess they aren't mills. They're going to be pedantic. You'd be correct. You guys have been hanging out for like two hours. <laughs> That's the right response. <laughs> oh, the soda scene. I'm remembering. Wait, oh, uh, okay. I gotta prep myself now. Well, I think it's soda. It's a drink of some sort. The bottle is the important bit. A feet shot? Okay. Jiro Jiro, Miruna. Yo, 
Well, now we know what thing Zayato is interested in. For sure. <laughs> There's a lot of things that need unpacking. Yeah, I still pay attention to all the time. いいって言ってるだろ。お前の<笑> Ah, the featureless horizon. Perfect to picture in your mind. Yeah. Same as anybody who takes pictures of clouds all the time. <laughs><笑> それ美味しいの？ラムネ知らないの？知ってるけど飲んだことないもん。Real drink, by the way. Yeah, I think I've seen it before. Ah, now you have human germs. You're gonna die, Ayato. ビーダまで飲めないよ。Real bottle, by the way, too. なんだよ。バカね。瓶の苦悶なところにビーダムを引っ掛けるのよ。Gotta play a mini game to get your soda. Yeah, I don't get. Love it. Now, reminder, that cat's been there for like, what, 12 hours or more now? Like, since this morning? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> cool, a third Bucci. <laughs> In our lineup of Bojis, Bojis, and Bojis. Hey, they're so easy to remember, aren't they? Oh gosh, there you go. Yeah, no, that cements it. Cements what? Uh, the time travel shenanigan relations. I'm pretty sure he said welcome back, but she actually lives there. As just stated. And he's the other girl's older sister. That previously mentioned. But that's not why it was written. <laughs> it's the hint. Oh. I don't understand narrative again. No, I'm telling you, you're gaslighting me. Also, there's too many people trying to hit on this teenage boy. Why is a drunk woman? I don't think that counts. Counter Chainsaw Man. 
すまんがこれを玄関にかけてきてくれ。So she's been working out there. ベイブレイト。あのおじさん。ん今何時ですか ？I gotta watch the set. Maybe I'll check the year hand. Oh gosh. めぐみちゃんで正解だったな。I'm pretty sure it's not happening, considering she's looking at a picture of another guy who's also in the show. Yeah, right. いい少年じゃないか。ああ、うちで預からせてもらうよ。Now what are these guys up to? And here's your、uh, thing, Griff. That the music of the, of the opening and the ending is actually played in show. Ah,、oh, it's diegetic. Yeah, okay. よく言うだろ。桜の花が赤いのは、その根元に死体が埋められているからだって。死体の赤い血を吸って、桜は色づくんだそうだ。Oh, that was entirely symbolic. What was that mean, Griff? I don't know. I don't know. それはそれは鮮やかな青い花を探せる。No, I mean, put the two things together. What did you just say? どんな人たちが埋められているんだろうね。Who has blue blood, Griff? How many aliens does he have buried in his yard? Well, I mean, everything's literally on the nose that I'm pointing at, so it's like. Yeah. Oh, you know, they say cherry blossoms are red because it says a dead body under there, <laughs> and then everything turns blue. Oh, yeah, don't, uh. Don't there are certain things around here that are blue blood? I wonder what's buried under the trees. So, uh, Dr. Crew got a little creepier. That's for sure. Assuming that everything you know about him is true. So, th this episode was definitely, like, um, very slice of lifey. Like, very nice and calm. Uh, if there were a lot of hints, uh, during, like, the middle of it, I, I didn't apparently see them at all. But I think the question I have right now is Theta. What's Uncle's job? Uh, the one. The one he's specifically called Uncle? Yeah. I mean, what do you think his job is? Well, right now, all he seems to do is spend his time working on calligraphy in his office. He seems to be moderately rich, and he's on an island that is a, both a military and research base. But. Is more or less like seemingly like a full civilian. He、oh. seems like he's an artist, which is probably why he and、uh, Ayato are probably gonna get along. So, what? Oh, hold on. Oh, it's time to go over the disaster. Uh, but yeah, who is he on the phone with would be my question. Oh, he's definitely on phone with the scientists that are over at that research facility, I think. Wait, no, with、Incorrect. the doctor, wasn't he? Incorrect Sorry, that's why. Right. Wait. They said the name of the person he was on the phone with. Ah, I forgot. Well, who? Yeah, literally, who? you have to rewind a couple of minutes. Go ahead.、We've、Come on, just, just, just to say it. No, the, the joy is in realization from your end. Not from me just saying stuff. Also, what if I'm gaslighting you? So you want to double check, don't you? Cut. You're making me do it. I hate. Come、It's、on. Literally the last thing. All I have to do is go right back to it. Tell me whose、oh. name it was. Oh,、uh, that's, that's what I'm trying to do, but I also cannot specifically go to anything. It's literally just him facing away from camera on a phone. In Noogie. Right. And who is that? Uh, don't know. Literally? You don't know? The doctor spent five minutes 
telling you why he's not a bad guy on the boat ride to the island. Oh, okay. Uh, he. There you go. There you go. Well, uh, the general that? guy, the commander. There we go. Who also names has everybody? A house. Uh, who also has a house on the island? <laughs> Same so, person. There so we go. now, who do you think? Private family island is what it is. Now to answer your own question, who do you think Uncle is? Uh, Uncle. Honestly, I don't have evidence that he's actually anything more than he's just there. Okay. He's just the general's family. That's that's all that I've seen so far. Of course, they're doing the manipulating thing, though. That That's still there. That's still true. Everyone's manipulating Ayato. It's very fun. He deserves it. Well, I mean, you've also seen a, a large number of interpersonal relationships shown. Mm-hmm. Like, we spent all this time with Megumi, and Megumi seems to have a thing for this uh, guy that we met earlier in the episode uh -huh. on the uh, the base, and he has an interpersonal relationship with these girls. And then, you know, basically we just got, like, a long series of ties of interpersonal relationships going on throughout the show. And of course, those relationships, too, are actually directly important to the plot, because without those relationships uh, for Ayato, the machine doesn't work. So there is a specific reason everyone actually cares about keeping him in a good mood, and that's to keep the Rosé Fawn from turning to stone. And specifically, we also saw how good they were at uh, animating faces to dis the show uh -huh. emotion. Mm -hmm. So... There was a number of times throughout this episode where people reacted to things around them to give you a sense of what their emotion was about that thing. So... Right, which is why the Ayato welcome home moment uh, stuck out to me, because the entire series of facial expressions there tell me that she's thinking about a whole lot of things about someone specifically welcoming her home. Who's her? Haruko. You said Ayato. Ayato said welcome home. Right. There were two characters. Right, well, you, didn't, you didn't reference a second character, you just said Ayato. Anyway, yeah. I would say that there was about three emotional faces that you could have read into to pick out mystery boxes for. Right, the, the second being the soda scene, right? They're, they're definitely having a moment there. There's a lot of stuff going on there emotionally. Uh, what what's the, our third one? What, what was the first one? Um, Haruko having the date at the bar. <laughs> Not true. Okay. Not correct. Well, you just uh, jumped no. immediately to the second one, so I was like, what's the first one? Wait, that was the second one? You think that's the second? Okay. No, you jumped to the second one. What's the first one? I'm asking you that. You you started off, I said, there's three emotional face readings there you can get to open up like missed all the mystery boxes. And you started by saying what the second one was. And then try to figure out what the third one. You never said what the first one was. The theta, who's on first? <laughs> oh, I love it. We we got our own little bit there. Um there was, like, the whole little meeting room scene, which, um, not really sure. I guess, like, the, the girl on the side was having a whole lot of emotional reaction to, uh, Ayato. The girl on the side? Uh, yeah, there were, like, the two girls in the, uh, in the command meeting. They're just on the side, they're commenting, but they're not a part of the conversation. And the one sitting down was like, oh, the whole time. Okay. Uh, that's not the same character as any other character that we were watching, was it? I, I, it's hard to tell sometimes. As any other character we were watching. No, she did not have a clone or a duplicate in any scene that I can recall. She right. was but, her but own she's, character. She, I'm sorry. She's not the same person that Ayato has been talking to and hanging out with here, right? What, Megumi? 
Uh, yeah, actually, is that Megumi then in that first scene? No. So who is it? I'm wondering oh, what you're doing. Are you rewinding? Or are you I'm, I'm trying to rewind into it, just like go and look for like the meeting scene. I can also tell you, you're not guessing the right people either, so... I clearly am not. Yeah. It's very much a, a strange position to be in, where I say, oh yeah, there's like three really emotional things, uh, faces to look into, and you're like, okay, let's see, what big events happened? Oh yeah, there's that one <laughs> scene where the people make googly eyes at uh, the main character, and it's like, yeah, okay. There's like, you know, someone who's actually really emoting their ass off in that same scene, but mm -hmm. you want to go with the googly eye girls. Alright. I I must have missed the other one. Uh, but no, like, um, gosh, I should actually put uh, some concrete thoughts down. I think, uh, not thinking about the mystery boxes now. This is still a really good episode to have. It cements everyone's character. I think I feel like I care about what they're doing and what they're about and how they're feeling. Uh, I don't feel like I've been rushed or anything. I just feel like I've spent a nice, natural 20 minutes hanging out with these people. And I'm going, yeah, I know. I think I like most of them. I'd feel bad if they died right now. I think that's the most damning thing about the show, is that one, what? you will never feel rushed, and two, <laughs> two, you'll feel all the stupider for not figuring out the mysteries if you don't, because you were never rushed. I think what I gotta do, I gotta go back and rewatch these episodes, like, every time we do a recording. I think that's just what I gotta do. Five hours of sitting here, once we get to episode 25, going, I gotta figure it out. Well, uh, by then, I hope things will be, like, sticking out at you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But yeah, um, I think at least we've gone over everything I can on this episode. Theta, you got anything else you want to, like, uh, prod me with, or or hand, or anything? Well, I think I was prodding it during the episode, so if you didn't pick it up then. But then again, you did go with the googly-eyed girls, so apparently you weren't picking up everything. No, I think it's more I, know, I think you maybe you just didn't pick up the googly eye. What? Maybe you just didn't pick up the googly eye, huh? Yeah, there you go. Well, considering there are bits I'm clearly going to forget, considering how long the show is, and it was over 20 years ago. Uh huh. But at the same time, I do know what I'm watching for, and that you're not picking up. I mean, you are sort of picking up on certain things. But then again, we can go back to that first scene, and apparently, true emotion has utterly escaped you. Uh, I mean, as it often does, really. Wait, what are we called again? Theta stone face reaction. Yeah, no, I think it's a little bit beyond me. Stone face reactions. It's plural. All right. Well, given that there are two of us reacting, now's the time to stop reacting. I think you got, unless you got one more thing. I mean, pay attention to people people are talking to, I guess. Okay. Well, I'll definitely try to give him that shot, but this has been Stone Face Reactions, everybody. I'm Griffin. That's Theta. And we'll catch you next time. See you around. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching another Stone Face Reactions. If you have an idea of another video we could go ahead and watch, go ahead and put it in the comments down below, and we'll add it to the wheel. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and let us know what you thought about this video and what parts you liked. And until then, we'll see you next time. Is this too goofy?